A follower of mine just bought his dream car from the profits he made from holding Pepe all the way from the bottom all the way up, but I know most of us did not have the chance to do this, most of us missed the opportunity, especially since there are so many meme coins out there. Me personally, I get messaged and emailed like 5 times a day just from different meme coins that want to promote our projects on my YouTube channel and I don't want to promote a bunch of meme coins because most of them fail and even some of them are rugs, so it's not easy to nail a meme coin pump like this. This follower of mine put in $1,000 and managed to turn it into millions, but I'm here to tell you that it's not too late. We can still make a lot of money with Pepe. We just gotta play it right and think outside of the box. In the previous video, I mentioned that you will be able to short Pepe in order to make 50x or 100x returns from riding a meme coin all the way from the top all the way down. Now I will show you step by step on how to exactly do this, how to short Pepe and make millions of dollars, but I will also share some of my personal opinions here and personal strategies on how not to get liquidated and lose all of your money. You still gotta think and you still gotta put in some effort because meme coins are really volatile so we gotta make sure we do it properly and I'll show you step by step here in just a little bit. Now let me prove my point here, we have Dogecoin from the peak to the bottom or well basically where it's at right now we have a downturn of 93% basically if you put in thousand bucks all the way up here you would have like 70 bucks left or something like that it's not a lot of money left but if you were to short dogecoin all the way up here and short it all the way down you would make a return of 560%. You would basically be able to make 5,000% returns with 10x leverage. Another example, we have SHIB. Same thing here. If you shorted the top all the way down, we're looking at a 5.8x return or a 58x return with 10x leverage. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this step by step. But first, I need to let you guys know that it is high risk, especially with meme coins. I would say it's not as high risk as holding a meme coin and trying to ride it all the way up because you never know what could happen along the way. But if you were to short it from the top or somewhere here or along the top, you are pretty safe to just ride it to the bottom. I will tell you exactly what to look for so you don't make some of the common mistakes here. But first, one more example. We have Floki. You short it from the top, ride it all the way down, you make a lot of money. Now we have Pepe and the same thing could happen here again. We're looking at 58x returns down to where it were last time at some 100 mil market cap or so. I don't think it will go all the way down there, but there will be plenty of money to be made. If we look at Floki and similar, we can see that they, they do come down really, really far because the earlier investors, they dump the price really hard when they take profits. The thing that I wanted to talk about here that you don't know is when the coin actually peaks you don't know if this is the peak of pepe it could bounce up once again and hit the higher peak so what you need to wait for is a confirmed trend so for this example here we have the one hour trend and i'm using the loss online here for the hourly trend i really like the tool it's good it's from another youtuber he put a lot of effort into developing it and making sure it performs it has a good history behind it but it costs some money there are a bunch of other tools that do similar things so you can just google that it's real simple catching the top is just like catching the bottom of bitcoin it's impossible it's like trying to catch a falling knife you don't know if you'll catch the handle or the knife itself looking here at shib or even doge is a better example if we look at the four hour trend instead and we short it right here when it turns into a downtrend we will be able to ride it all the way down and we will even be able to take profits along the way. All the way down here, we can take some profits, we can reshort it all the way down here, we take profits again and then we reshort it once again here. But you could also just short it and ride it all the way down because it is a meme coin and most likely meme coins always go to zero or well to a stable zero, it's what I want to call it. It goes really, really all the way down, but it still has some liquidity left. So that's what we want to do. We want to follow the trend and don't get FOMO. Don't buy in. Don't lose all your money. Play it safe. Use the strategy. I'm trying to tell you exactly what to do here step by step. Follow the trend and all of that. But now I'm going to show you exactly on an exchange how to do this because you cannot do it on chain you got to use it on an exchange and the exchange that i use is mexi because they have really low fees and they also list the meme coins really early so you can also buy them early and ride it all the way up for example both pepe and wojak 
got listed on Mexi really, really early. So you would be able to buy them on Mexi and ride it all the way up and then short it all the way down. And that's exactly what I'm going to do personally. First thing you got to do is get an account. I have a link down below where you can sign up. Then it's really simple. You head in here to your wallet and you just hit deposit and you deposit your crypto. You can also buy it. You can use debit or credit cards. You can do bank transfers and all of that. It's basically like a regular exchange. And if you don't know how all of this works and you're kind of scared to do it, then I would actually suggest that you do some more reading up because that, that's a sign you're really new to crypto. But I got to be honest and tell you that trading with leverage is higher risk. So make sure that you actually read up a bit. When you have your account ready, you have your money deposited, you head over to futures, you go to perpetual futures, and you do USDTM. And if you don't hold USDT and you hold another cryptocurrency, you just head over to spot, you hit spot trade. You find the coin that you want to trade. You can search for it over here and you just do a quick swap over here. You can use market price if you don't want to put in a limit order. It's super simple. Then what you do when you have your USDT is you head over to futures, perpetual futures and USDTM. And this is where you can trade with leverage, short with leverage, make money on Pepe going all the way down. Okay, just real simple how to short Pepe. What you do is you first select the amount of leverage that you want. Higher leverage means you make more money, but it's also a higher risk of being liquidated. What happens when you increase the leverage is that you borrow money to trade with. If the price moves 100% in the wrong direction and you have 1x leverage, you lose all of your money, you get liquidated. If you have 10x leverage, the price only has to move 10% for you to get liquidated if it moves in the wrong direction. But if it moves 10% in the right direction, you double your money with only a 10% movement. So that is a really, really big difference. And that is the power of leverage. So let's say we want to do 5x leverage. We want to play it a little bit safer. And then we can decide when we think we have hit the downtrend. Right now, personally, I'm going to wait a little bit more because you never know if there is a rebalance and you want to go for another leg up. The market right now is a little bit weird in crypto, so you never know exactly what will happen. When we've hit the downtrend on a 4 hour time frame, then I will short Pepe and make a lot of money. Just like we could have done with Doge and SHIB way back when those went all the way down. But since we were not ready, I just moved over 170 bucks instead. And I'm going to just show you a small example here of how you trade. We put in 5x leverage, we put in the amount that we want to trade with. I'm going to put 50%. So before putting in the trade, you can actually decide if you want a take profit and stop loss. This is to protect you and actually make money. So let's hit that and we can decide we want to take profits when we double the money. If it goes the other way, we can decide that we want a stop loss. If we lose 10% of our money, we will stop loss out and we won't be liquidated or well, we will be liquidated, but only with 10% loss and not lose all of our money. 30% stop loss here and a take profit at 100%. And then we just hit open short. We can double check everything here and then we can hit confirm. And there we can see now we have our positions right here. If it goes all the way up here, we basically get stop lost out. And if it goes all the way down here, it takes profits automatically. And we make that money. We basically double our money. Okay, so normally you trade on a longer time frame because you don't want to be gambling and you don't want to be caught up into emotions. You can, of course, trade shorter time frames. Then I would suggest you trade on like resistances and support levels instead. That's a completely different thing. We trade on trends. That's where it's easier to make money. And the entire goal is just to trade the downtrend of a meme coin. In order to close the trade here, we just hit flash close. There we go. And we have, you know, barely anything in profit. But there we go. We closed the trade. We made a little bit of money. But that's basically what you do. You put in a short. You ride the entire trend down. It will take time. Multiple days. You need patience. But use a stop loss and take profit if you want to. It's easier to use a stop loss. The take profit one is a little bit harder. But it could still be good. Because maybe it dips while you're asleep or similar. This is basically what you do step by step. You look at the trend. When the trend is reversing. You ride the meme coin with a short all the way down on an exchange like Mexi 
Once again, links down below. You sign up and you can short it really, really easily. I use Mexi because, you know, of the low fees, but you can actually use any exchange that you want. Just make sure that they have actually listed the meme coin that you want to short. In this case, I've been using this exchange because they actually list the meme coins really, really early. So you can buy them before and ride it all the way up as well. Of course, some of us will lose money. Some of us will make money. My follower, for example, he just bought his dream car, retired his parents, retired himself in just one big pump. Crazy stuff, but we can still take advantage of this meme coin, riding it all the way down, shorting it, making a lot of money. Make sure to follow me because I will be making more videos like this, show you guys how to take advantage of situations like this when you miss the opportunity. There are still more opportunities in crypto, even if you miss the pump, you can always short it. There are more things I want to show you guys, but that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.